effort and why they withdraw because they were fighting for five years why suddenly what has happened so i asked for the affidavit there was nothing written in the affidavit except they are asking, going in supreme court so i used my new delhi sources and asked why why this fellow is going in supreme court when high court is hearing the case suddenly he withdraw the petition and what he say he is going in supreme court so why is good so i come to know that supreme court has appointed one committee central empowerment committee and that committee had given a report saying that buffer zone in goa should be between 500 meter to 1 km only so this this petition was making point of 5 km so there is no standing next day because they have already already filed in supreme court today so he withdrew it so i got that another story so we have we have to be alert yeah, go oh. back What is what is the reaction? Yes. yes. Oh, what's the fu- full story? Actually? Full story. Please. Just one more point. You mentioned about uh, vacancies with nobody, no takers, no yeah. journalists. Yeah. So why is it that print journalists are paid so little when the newspapers actually make a lot of money? No, our our salaries are governed by government of India. Which board? Which board? There is no question of paying less or paying more. No, no, I don't I see. For instance, in the English media, uh-huh. uh, contract journalists. Yeah. Only you. Okay. Very few newspapers are governed by wage board. Most of the newspapers are governed by wage board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, it's all contract. Second, all all labor practices are for the government company. Second is a old one. Yeah. And, uh, it's a very high yes, standard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like Hindu. Second also is one of the. Otherwise, that's a, but, actually that's a tragedy of journalism. Yeah. Contract journalism. But we got poor vacancies in Marathi. Good. I think uh, we had a very good meeting. Yeah. Oh, we are ready for you. Come here and uh, use the mic. Use the mic. Share your uh, disappointments. You must be having more disappointments than uh, good. Yes, see. You. So um, I think. Uh, okay, my name is uh, Sachin Nayak and. I am from Don Bosco College. Uh, so I think there are four vacancies which are there. Yes. You can um, actually um, intern people from any colleges because uh, not uh, it's not the matter of money, but they will also gain some experience out of it. For example, uh, in as he said, yeah. we uh, mostly have to learn theory and not practical. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to writing something. I often tend to me. I often tend to make mistakes in my report writing. So um, I have improved a little bit because of writing. So when we write for any paper or something, we have that enthusiasm. Yes, we have to cover this part. We have to uh, like uh, environmental journalism. We have to cover it. We have to cover the story. So um, I think. Uh, your vacancies will also be occupied and then uh, we will also get some experience for your kind information we got 20 interns <laughs> today oh hello today i am talking about a vacancy that's a true full time full time full uh, time okay and it involves not just uh, sitting in the desk it's not only the journalists let me tell you that i uh, i uh, put in that uh, advertisements for jobs yeah for in, in the international center and i hardly get any applications <laughs> hardly get we put in for fnb we need an fnb person here yeah. we got two two uh, and you and you put the thing the ad came out and came out at least four times and we got only two i don't understand this and for some things we get 15 no i think there is a mismatch uh, going on in the country <laughs> what i call we have uh, right, this mismatch Is where the job is there. People are uh, where the people is there. The, 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 job. This, uh, the employment uh, yeah. uh, even was started with that idea. No, I so think people in Goa want yeah. jobs in government. They all looking for government jobs. That is very unfortunate. Yeah, I think somebody is oh. yeah. 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 my point is like uh, many of have many of us have point, touched upon that that when we write about environment no one reads it so when even when we as journalists we join any uh, any company or any any uh, media organization 
and when we write about uh, the uh, environmental issues, uh, the the person who's in charge of choosing it to publish it, they they themselves don't choose it. Put it in your blog. Yeah, but suppose we don't have, we don't create a blog. Start a blog. Why not? No, but I think she made a, a very important point. Yeah, I'm glad that you made this point because this is the one yeah. we have been hearing yeah. elsewhere. Yes, that is uh, somebody who writes about environment, but the dustman or the editor. Yeah. Or if it is a TV channel, <laughs> they, they are not interested because that doesn't get them a TRPs or uh, uh, relationships. So they are. The journalist does with a lot of interest and then the other, but it doesn't get anywhere. Like so yeah, they are discouraged. So they discouraged. don't come up to write more about because it. Because they have some interest. Also, yeah. sometimes the bit of interest yeah. is there. Yeah. Either because the mind is uh, interested <coughs> into that paper or that uh, channel or some such thing. But this is a something, a reality. Uh, in fact, uh, we all should uh, just, uh, as an experienced person like him, uh, I'm sure he must have dealt with this kind of thing in his previous, before uh, Sakhar took over. He must have faced this kind of no, thing. No, no, I, I, I'm with Sakhar. Yeah, but these uh, channels yeah. are going through this problem. You have brought in a very important point. This is uh, something we are trying to address. How to get over it all. Now, one way of what is uh, transparency, that is, uh, like uh, she said, uh, putting it on the net, not necessarily your word, but somebody else. For example, if you send to Kamar, he may put in his uh, thing, putting, or if you send to us, we may put in our thing. Like that. There are others, uh, uh, and attending meetings like this, if you bring it here, yeah. it will spread. It will, the word will go around. Yeah. So that's where we share. Yeah. Even social networks. Yeah, social networks. I think it's a little uh, wrong idea to think that environment doesn't get coverage. I think it does no, get a lot of coverage because if you see sometimes a newspaper papers that devote one page to certain it issues, is there is some research no, but otherwise yes. environment still figures. Like if you have an art page, you have books page, you have uh, whatever uh, uh, showbiz, environment does figure in mainstream uh, interest. Even defense may not. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say that. You know, there's, there's a research which has been done on climate change, or the icebergs are melting, or something like that. What is already uh, available? Uh, what is readily yeah. available as, uh, you know? But there is some small time thing also. It's not always a huge thing like a climate change is going to kill people, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or uh, you know, uh, uh, the ozone layer and all that. But sometimes small little things also should be written about. In Goa, there's a practice over here of burning garbage burning leaves. Yeah. Nobody has written about it. Mm -hmm. I've stopped it in my center because my this chap, my gardener, first thing he used to do he was collect all the leaves uh, and burn them. I stopped that right. I said you have to post. I said you in <coughs> Delhi everywhere in the north no leaves are burned now. Delhi nobody burns leaves. All use is compost. But here nobody has written about it. Now this is something you don't need to get a paper on, you don't need anything. Yeah. You just have to go around, you're walking on the street, you, you see what? something burning. Write about it. And go into the net, see the environment damage this kind of smoke causes. Yeah. Write about it. That is creating awareness. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. You know what no, I mean? Right. I'm just saying what, what these uh, students uh, were saying that you know if you write that nobody wants to, it's not true. If if I mean Anybody I'm trying to say, yeah. And, and it, it's not only with environment journalism, it's everything across right. the board. Yeah. It all depends on how well you are able to write your yes. story. You know, that is the most important thing. Yes. Uh, in, in media parlance, you call it story. It doesn't sound like a good word, but how well you write your story is extremely important. And when you say how well, how the facts, the way it's written, the the yes, exact, that's right, that's yeah. So if you write, so so the competition is more because there are more writers, more stories, some more freelancers are sending stories. So it is how you how you up yourself, you know, how you make yourself better. That is also important apart from. I used to bring out papers for grassroots. Five years we brought that paper out. Fifty percent of the story was sourced from the newspaper. Fifty fifty percent we got people to write. And I I used to choose stories which were not necessarily you know very very uh, path breaking stories or something. But how well they were. We used to give a prize of five thousand rupees also every time. We have a magazine, Transparency yeah. Review. We have another magazine. I thought they were bringing it here and distribute. And we sent to the NVI News, NVI News, Environment News. Current one uh, devotes on journalism. I don't know why they didn't distribute it here. I don't have copies. But you can send any of you who mm. want to write oh, lots of alternative small, big, need not be big. In fact, we don't like big ones. Less than 400, 500 words. No, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, we are writing up. 